Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY. And I want to say hey to all my returning viewers. Welcome to any new viewers. And as always, I'm going to go over what is needed for today's project. And that's going to be these, these ladybug wooden sticker thingies I got from Dollar Tree a year or so ago. Um, this box. Now, if you can find one that doesn't have this on it that works too but this is what I have we're gonna be using some spackle I am using this because it's gonna work perfectly for what I want so the springtime napkin I'm sorry I can't think and I'm gonna be using apple barrel white and apple Apple Barrel True Green paint and then I'm gonna be using Mod Podge. I'm gonna be using this hard coat one because that's the one I have and also glue of course I'm gonna use my glue gum and you're gonna want a sponge brush and a paintbrush or two all right let's get to it so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking my spackle and I'm doing this because I really don't want this to mess up my uh, texture on my thing. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to lightly spackle anywhere that is a llama or whatever is done on y'all's. Because it has different, Dollar Tree has different ones. And this is one I have, so. I want to completely cover the llama and make sure that it is the same height, you know, height as the actual piece. Because I know I'm going to be covering the top, but I just want to make sure that it doesn't show through and you don't see the llama. When you do this so just making sure all the little holes are filled and then I'm going to let it dry and then I will sand it after it's dry I'm gonna let it dry overnight all right y'all now that it's dry I'm going to use my sandpaper to sanding block and just sand it. Give me a second, y'all. I sanded it. I'm gonna paint the top white because I want to make sure that this doesn't see. You can't see this through the um, napkin. Sorry. <laughs> so. I'm just going to paint it white. Now What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the whole top part white, so just to let y'all know.
and this will, like I said, this will be covered with a, um, some napkin. So this just helps make sure you don't see the stuff underneath the napkin, through the napkin, I'm sorry. <laughs> Also, just to let you know, I also plan on painting underneath just to give it a finished look. So, I'm going to let that dry and we're going to move on to the bottom. I want to paint this. I want to paint this green because I think it'll work really well with the um, napkin. So that's where we're at with this. Now, you can sand this down if you want. I don't do it because it's such a soft wood that it just, I don't know, maybe I'm using the wrong sandpaper or the wrong sanding block or whatever, but I have a hard time with the softer wood trying to sand it down so but, and again I I'm thinking about painting the inside of this white to match the top so we will go and see how we like it once I get it painted but I'm really thinking I'm going to go that route. I just... We'll go... From here after we finish we'll check and see what we think so I would love to hear y'all's thoughts on this and what y'all think because technically I am doing two different colors which I'm not saying it's a bad thing but you know do you think these colors work well together I like I said I think the green is gonna work with it because it is floral but I love to hear y'all's thoughts on what I did so please 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 feel free to you know um, comment So I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll move on to the next step once <laughs> it's dry. Alright. Okay, y'all, now that it's dry, I've decided I'm going to paint the whole inside white. I just think that that'll look the best. So, while I'm doing this, I'm going to decide if I want to do the top part green or not. And I will let y'all know as soon as I decide. 
but for now I'm just painting. Now this is a fun little gift you can give to a child, a friend, family. I am actually making this for my sister because she loves ladybugs. So I think she will appreciate this. So we will see when I'm done. And again, of course, I'm going to say this, you can use whatever, if they like something else, like bees or cats, you know, I'm just using that example, you can put that on here instead. This was just because I know, I thought it'd be cute and I know my, like I said, I know my sister likes ladybugs, so... That's why. And I'm definitely going to probably more than likely go over this with another coat of white because it's not the color I want. I'm also going to go over this again just to make sure I get all the spots. But it's fine. I'm only painting on the inside, so it'll be okay to go ahead and paint that outside too. So I'm gonna let that dry, and I'll go from there. Alright y'all, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I don't like the way it looks. I'm going to try a different white, and if I still don't like it, then I will go for a cream color. But I will try a different white first, but I'm just not liking the way this is coming out. So, and if I don't like it, I'm not going to do it. Let's just go from here and see what we get. This is still white, but it's a different brand. It's Waverly. And we'll see how it looks. I'm going to make this work. Even if I have to pick a different color that I didn't want to use, I will make it work. is thicker so it might work better. I'm going to say again, I will not do something I do not like the way it's coming out. You can always change it to something different and go from there. So. It's not the end of the world if you're not liking the way it's looking. I just want to let y'all know that. You can always fix something. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry, of course. 
Et on vient de le ventiler à soi. So I think I'm already liking this better, but we won't know until it's done. So we'll just have to check it out when it's done. But I feel like changing to this was the right choice for me. Because I was looking at more than two coats to make me happy, so. Paintbrush out of paint. So, so far just looking at this, I am so much happier with this white than I was with the other one because it's not even dry. But look at that, it's so much whiter, brighter, and covered more than the other one was. Alright, so, pretty sure I'm happy going with that. Instead of this,
you're just touching up a few spots and when it dries I think we'll be ready to go in the next one of course I still gotta do that this part the lip for one of the better words that's all I can think of I'm pretty sure that's what it's called but <laughs> I've been wrong before Gonna let that dry and like I said we'll move on to the lip next but I am very happy with how this is looking right now all right so I'm gonna use a smaller paintbrush for the lip And I'm mostly doing this because when you get to the green, you're not going to want to get the white and the green. So a smaller paintbrush is going to be the way to go. I don't know if I got the right size, but it is smaller. So it should be fine. Now, I will work around with different sandpaper and stuff and figure stuff out because this is a soft wood and no matter how much I use my sanding block, I don't know how long, I, don't, I just did not feel like it was sanding it at all. And I don't, I've never really sanded stuff until recently, so I don't really know anything about it so I'm gonna have to work on that but every time I seem to try to sand this one it just did not seem to work the soft wood I will work on that and see what I can come up with because I want to show y'all everything I can with the crafting and I want y'all to be happy so with those end product. I mean it could just been I was supposed to sand it for way longer than I did. I don't know. It just it seemed like it was doing anything at all. Alright. I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move over to this one. Didn't get it on the other side. Alright y'all, so I don't have a exact match green for this, but I'm not liking this, so, excuse me, I may use Grotto by Folk Art, because I'm just not happy with it. 
I mean, you can continue to paint over until you get it the white, but I'm just gonna do this. I just, I really wasn't gonna change anything on this, but I just, I'm not happy with these colors. So, I'm just gonna go over it. It's just, I would have to go over this a bunch more. It seems like this wood is absorbing the apple barrel paint. And I, like I said, I can keep going over it, but it'll take a while so I think I'm gonna do this I'm not big on taking forever to do something that I can get done faster now if I would have had the same color green or close to match I would definitely want that but I don't I want it to be. This is still a really pretty color. I've used it before on a product and I do really like this color. So I'm not really complaining that I had to change it, but I do. I think, sorry, I do think this is the right choice. So, as you can see, it is pretty much one and done with these colors, and I, I'm liking this a lot better. So, it's really up to y'all what y'all think, but I like the fact that this is um, done now. All I gotta do is let it dry and I can move on to the next step. Alright y'all, they are dry and I am happy with the way they look. It came out looking really great. Even though I did have to change the color on here, it's not as dark. It's not as pure green as the other ones, but I like it. It's gonna work very well with what I'm doing. So the next step is the Mod Podge. I'm going to be adding this on here so that is the next step
So I'm gonna try something different than I normally do. I normally just paint the whole thing and then go from there. But I'm gonna try this slightly different and see how this works. So I'm gonna paint to there. And then I'm gonna add, put this on there. I just wanna try different things to see what works the best. So that's done. Now I'm gonna just keep adding the Mod Podge and working my way up. So. And I might not like how this works out, but this is what I'm trying. And I'm just gonna continue like that. Now, I was told about something and I might try that next time I do one of these see if it works but for now I was told you can use the roll-on um, glue and it'll work also with um, this type of stuff. The roll on glue will work. So I might try that next time I do this. And I realized something just now. Oh. Give me a second. I'm gonna do the top coat. Cause again, you have to put it on top Two. and this might have worked better but I realized that I did not peel the backing off of this so therefore I had to add some Mod Podge between the two so this might have worked the way I wanted it to if I would have remembered that <laughs> sometimes y'all I don't even know about the things I do But it's okay. And it doesn't bother me. I was just trying to figure out ways to get around the texture. You see how it crinkles up? But I like texture. It gives it a little something extra that you really don't even have to do anything to accomplish. It accomplishes it all on its own. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll move to the next step. All right, it should be dry enough for the next step. And the next step is I'm gonna cut the napkin off. Let me try something. Let me use this bigger one. Like I said, this is a little bit harder because I accidentally did not remove the backing. So 
so I have two layers to go through. And as you see, you know I'm having problems. Obviously, it's dry enough that it is coming off the way it's supposed to be coming off. I wouldn't be having these problems if I hadn't screwed up like I did. But then, I'm good at that. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm going to try to use my little one and clean up the edges as best I can. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sand the edges to make sure that it's clean and for some reason I have some spots on my side that I'm going to have to go back and paint over because I want it to look nice, but I'm just going to Try to clean this up some. If I see something like that, I'm going to try to fix it, but... You want it to be fairly neat. Okay, so, like I said, I am going to go back on these edges and clean them up a little. I don't know where it came from, but I want it off. So that is my next step. It looks pretty good, though. What do you think? Oops, sorry, it's not in the camera. <laughs> but... I'm going to show you again in case I did not show you it wasn't a camera. These little edges, some of them, these sides, have some stuff on it and I want to clean that up. So Now while I'm doing this, I want to tell y'all, y'all also have the option of taking the napkin and going down the sides to also help you clean it up more and make it look nice, but I decided I was thinking about that, but I decided I wanted to do it this way instead, and I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. I don't know where this came from on the sides, but I'm going to clean it up. So it looks nice. So there it is, it's cleaned up and it looks nice and I'm happy with it. So the next step is going to be 
once this dries is gluing the ladybugs on. Okay y'all, now that my glue gun has finished heating up, I am just going to... Now, these have little stickers on the back, I'm sorry if I tell you, and I went ahead and pulled them off because I just feel like glue works better and it gives it, it helps push it down straight. Um, I can't even talk y'all. It helps it, it's not going to stick up like the sticker would, I'm sorry y'all. My brain just won't function, but this is where I want to put them. I thought this would be a cute idea. Y'all can put them wherever y'all want. But I just thought it'd be cute to have two little ladybugs like that. Look at that. Isn't that cute, y'all? I think this came out looking absolutely adorable. I know my sister's going to love it. And I can't wait to give it to her. So, that is it for today's project. I had so much fun making this. I really did. And it just seems to me that you put the tiniest bit more effort into a project if you know you're going to give it to someone that you care about and you know they're going to love it. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment below because it helps my channel to grow and it tells me what content to put out there. So, I will see y'all next time. Bye!